We all want our messages to come across as successfully as possible. Next time you pick up a microphone, think about where and how you're holding it. Think about where you're standing in relation to the loudspeakers. When a microphone ventures into the main coverage area of the loudspeaker or is aimed directly at the loudspeaker, if it's loud enough and close enough, feedback happens. Before you talk, look around to see where the loudspeakers are. If you can't see them, say a few words and listen to where the sound is coming from. My name is Chris Cusick. Stay a reasonable distance from the loudspeakers. Try to keep yourself behind the loudspeakers and out of their on-axis coverage pattern so the projected loudspeaker sound is not picked up by your microphone. A good way to understand this is imagine the sound projecting from the front of the loudspeakers is similar to the light projected from a car's high beam headlights. Make sure your mic is out of that light pattern. The further away from your mouth you hold the microphone, the less sound you're putting into the microphone, and the more the sound system operator has to raise your level for the audience to hear you. At a certain point, the system begins to howl when the microphone has begun to pick up too much of your loudspeaker sound and the feedback loop ensues. If you're holding the mic, place it near your chin. Stay within the microphone's pickup pattern, which is usually a heart-shaped or egg-shaped zone projecting out several inches for the microphone. Metaphorically, if the microphone head is the end of a small vase with a rose in it, you want to be about the distance away to smell the protruding rose.